All right, looks like we're up. 12 or 15 seconds into it, 20 seconds into it. Better brace yourselves because nobody knows what they're doing. Uh, the first thing I will ask, I know there's only a couple of you here, but uh, if the ambient noise, that fan in the background is uh, too loud or too annoying, let me know. I'm in a different location playing this game tonight, so uh, hopefully you can hear okay. If you can hear, do let me know that you can hear okay. Hey dude, how you doing? Good to see you here. Does the sound okay? All right, good stuff. Hey, good to see you guys. I'm just gonna share this to uh, Facebook one time real quick and then uh, we'll get started. All right, and I think we're back. All right, who else just joined here? Let's just say hi. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Here we go, all right. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's me playing and it's me learning. So this, this will not be official go learn the game and use this to learn it from gameplay. This will be me muddling through things and working it out as we go along. Uh, let's see, so, which reminds me, I'm gonna need to grab another camera so I can take pictures for the little cartoon panels. Be right back. So, um, let's do this. I've gone through weather, and uh, weather was uh, dry with a storm, which basically means we're not going to have any air this turn. And uh, we did supply determination, and the only unit that was out of supply, as far as I could figure, on the entire board was this little pile right here, uh, because they can't count seven hexes uh, back to a... Uh, supply route we did the replacements replacements is kind of fiddly there's you know these infantry points and armor points and then you put them in the cadre box and then you move them all lip from the eliminated box to the cadre box then you move them up another box and blah 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 so we do all that <clears throat> goofed around with those things got reinforcements there were a handful of units that came on for the reinforcement phase there were no withdrawals. We don't have to worry about air readiness now, basically. Uh, I did roll for them, and then I read the little cheat sheet I've got here, and it seems to indicate that uh, we are not using those guys uh, because of the, the, the status. Everything goes to the flown box uh, because of the storm, which will be the first time, which will mean that this will probably be the first time that we're going to get to uh, use the Soviet HQs in the reaction phase and enable units to move. So I may have to do some rule lookups there. So I'm giving you a fair warning there. Access air and addiction. We ain't going to get any of that action going on. Naval readiness. We're not doing any of that crap. So that moves us right to the Axis movement phase. And for me, the big part of this here, this uh, sort of um, asynchronous uh, gameplay. The first phase for me really is all about identifying overrun opportunities and executing on those and then seeing if that allows us to, you know, blow a hole in something. Uh, but I have found that adroit use of piling units up like this in layers, although it was a little bit difficult last turn because of you know, lack of movement points and uh, distances to cover and stuff like that that uh, we had some challenges so uh, we did the best we could we could and, and I was also impressed with how uh, mighty the German offensive was here there was a, 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 str a string of four units here and then two here I hope that focus is okay uh, and uh, and then it, you know the overruns just uh, knocked out the smaller guys uh, we're now down to them some of the more meaty units and we're in turn four 
Uh, if Lvov is captured in turn four, which it's probably not going to be pretty obviously, uh, there's a, a VP bonus that's accrued. Uh, there's no way these guys are going to get there. And I, I think that would you know, warrant many plays to determine how you can achieve that lofty goal. It's probably very easy if you roll the right way and conduct the right attacks in the opening turn, which I probably didn't do. So, so in terms of map uh, focus and where we're at right now, and I'm going to come to the comments in just a second, I'll, I'll say uh, hi to everybody. Uh, we have, uh, there's a township here, of Paramichel, uh, probably going to pronounce all these things wrong, but basically there's the border is right here uh, where we need to plunge into Lvov and then through to Kiev and further off. So we've got 16th motorized, 9th Panzer, 13th Panzer down here, some infantry supporting. Um, did I say 16th? Yeah, 16th Panzer here and 16th motorized here. Uh, these guys just came on the board. Now the interesting thing is further up here, we have managed to penetrate from the north, sort of south eastwards, and uh, wiggle that way down through here and, and have come in behind Lvov and uh, skipped the opportunity to try and pressure Brody and, uh, and try and, uh, let's try and isolate all these other units here, uh, pick up the big pocket win, hopefully we get lots of surrenders and that will be a good thing and I'll allow me to pick up these uh, whatever points remain that I'll get for, for those. Um, up further north up here, there's a couple of divisions of uh, motorized and panzer units that will uh, keep banging away in that direction, or they, they, may, uh, they may take a cut to the south as well because it's kind of thin right there, near the Staya River right there, or Staya River, I should say. And there's also uh, these... Not that I think we can get there this turn, but there's also these uh, um, supply transports that are sitting there as well, uh, looking very, very delectable and uh, destroyable. Uh, not, oh, my camera is not sitting up very well today. It's been a while since we've done a live cast. We don't know what the hell we're doing, which is nothing new, right? So we'll, we'll move the camera around a little bit uh, as we go. Uh, hey, Chris, good to see you. Okay, uh, what, libation. Uh, you know, I'm just recovering from uh, being sick, so I do have some bottled water, but I also have uh, just a little bit of uh, Irish whiskey, which I'm watering down with uh, some sparkling water. So I'm yet to have my first sip. Kind of excited about it, and we'll get to it. It'll be my, uh, my first drink in a week. <clears throat> which, you know, what's up with that? So, let's look at movement. Uh, I will, I will, one before we get to the movement, I will say this one thing. Uh, I've been keeping track of the number of ASP uh, attack supply points that I'm losing a turn, and, and so far it's working out uh, just as I suspected that you would not be able to have uh, all the supply come on the map as, uh, as it's received based on the the supply that's available the supply movement capacity that's available can you hear that dog barking in the background that's really annoying that's my dog too i freaking hate that okay let's try and concentrate so I'm not really sure what we're going to do and i'm going to focus in on 13th panzer Hang on one second. Let's, let's have a look at this. Let's see what uh, what we can do with these Panzer units. 
Oh, that's a good idea. Water it down with some scotch. Good thinking. A little bit of Irish whiskey never hurt anybody. Let's see. Problem with uh, trying to, like for instance, this guy here, we obviously can't overrun that. It's nine defense factors. Uh, I, I'm, and I'm not gonna go through explaining all the different unit characteristics and all that sort of stuff. Uh, download the rules, have a look at it for yourself. <clears throat> Five is going to be too hard to do. So one of the things I do want to do though is maybe uh, pull the camera back a little bit. There is a weaker unit here in this town of Sambor. And um, in fact, one, two, yeah, he's got one step left. So I think he's actually like this. Uh, this guy here is an opportunity to uh, to be overrun, and I would want to do that so that I can begin the exercise of trying to isolate this entire area, and we don't want to have this this avenue of uh, escape optimized or available. Here's a four-factor defense that we could possibly hit. It's going to be tricky though, we can't get to it actually because it's going to be uh, in adjacent zones of control. All zones of control are going to be in the hex, so that prevents us from doing that. Soviet players done a good job. There's, not, there's really nothing here I can overrun that's worth trying to do. So I think for the sake of the exercise, we're going to overrun this guy and let's have a look. If I use this dude, to be 12 factors, that'd be a 6 to 1. Hmm. If I use this dude, that'd be 12. This one would give me 7 to 1, which would give me a minus 2 on the die roll, which I'll explain in a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to there. Let's do that. Is there anything else I could do there? And that would then maybe open up the way to go around here and try to get an angle on this guy to attack it or keep going this way to the south which is another option actually uh, I wonder I wonder when Lvov was captured it's the 28th 29th of June uh, I wonder when it actually fell I'll have to check alright so let's do this so this is going to be 7 to 1 uh, basically and of course that guy is not going to sit on top. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do five move from points to there. All right. I'm going to go through the little overrun table. There's a table here. And uh, a seven to one or greater is going to actually give us a, a minus one, not a minus two uh, for German only units. And we're just going to roll the die and see what the result ends up being. Uh, that's great. They're all the nine. Nine minus one is going to make it an eight. Let's see what else I can uh, I can gather here to make this successful. Wow, that sucks. Um, All the units in overrun cavalry, no they're not, they're infantry. And it's actually going to go up one because of the terrain, I believe, because it's hill, woody, hill woods. Is this a city? No, it's, hmm, maybe it is. Or is that a town? Let's check. Well, that's a town. Towns don't count. All right, so that failed, so it stops there. Dang it. All right. Well, now I want this hex, so we're going to go for it. One, two, three, four. Over five, minus one. Oh no, it's not minus one because uh, we only have uh, six to one. And roll a five, successful unit retreats uh, two hexes. I get to retreat the unit as the attacker. So we're gonna push him one, two back this way out of, out of frame. And where was I here? One, two, one, two, three, four. Four and a half, five, six, seven. 
six, seven. Uh, you know I'm going to be out of attack supply, so I'm going to have to go here anyway. So we'll just move to here. Armor is going to be half in the marsh. Do we want to do that? Be sure there's a penalty for attacking into the marsh. Let me check real quick before we move those units into that spot. Terrain, 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 swamp, yep. Half of attacking from... Motorized units are external extend, motorized units may end, blah, 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 nope, no, no penalty. That's a swamp, that's a marsh, or a swamp, what is that? That's a marsh, so there is no effect. Okay, so that's good. Well, it looks like we're going to be at least a couple of days behind. 29th of June, we ain't going to make that date. So, looks like we're just going to, now I'm, I've screwed up there because now I'm missing a turn of combat because these guys have to end their movement. So, one, two, three, four. I'm going to put this attack here. That's actually going to be five to there because it's plus one to leave the zone of control here. One, two, three, four, five. And these guys will go two, three, four. Nope. I'm going to have to attack that unit if I put this unit here. So that's not going to work. One, two. Right, let's do this thing. This is just trash now. That guy's almost dead. One, two, three, four there. We'll stick the motorized division here. I will bring this here, two, to there, three, four. And scoop this arty up. And I think we'll try and finish these guys off with these guys here. And we'll do some cleaning up back here as well. One, two, Three, four. This guy's go there. This guy's go here. Okay. So that written now means we've got one declared attack there. We're going to do a declared attack here. Two, three. One, two, three, four. So I think this is wrong. I think although that's a that's a three stepper. I've got the uh, I've got the the step reductions done incorrectly here potentially. So let's check that. Page here that has the step reductions on it. Bear with me a second. Three step unit, yeah, we flip, first loss is one on top, and then we flip it over, yeah, two losses. So I'm pretty sure this does not go on here. So that is now just a three factors, but we don't care. Now, I can actually get an attack in here on Lvov. I've just realized that, just blindly realized that I did not uh, protect this avenue here. I was uh, more worried about this threat. 
Well, shit. Well, I'm going to try it. I've just realized this just now. What do we got? When do those interdiction markers come off? Let's see. Let's make sure they're not supposed to come off. The end of... Uh, I can't see it. Interdiction markers. Still new to this guy, sorry. Engineering phase. Something told me they came off in the German engineering phase. Flip strong points. Duct and rail conversion. Oh, you're killing me here. Come on. Nope, it doesn't happen there. So does it happen in the Soviet engineering phase? Ugh. I'm dying here. Just dying. Reaction phase? It makes sense that they come off sometime in the... Maybe it's a Soviet movement phase. Nope, I'm not seeing it. Anybody know who's online? Tony! Oh my god, it's Claystone. Hey, Clay, you, you played this game? You played this game. You're a pro at this game. Well, this is riveting stuff right now. I can't find out when these uh, things move or remove. And it's not. Ah, here we go. No, if units draw. Eesh. End of the turn that they're placed. Okay, so they're off. That's cool. Okay. All right, so that means, what that means then is that we, we've left an unfortunate gap here that I've just realized we have for Lavov. Um, I defended east and west, but not north by the looks of it. And it's total defense factors of ooh, three, four, five. Uh, I'm going to have to be able to get 5 to 1 to do an overrun, and that's not going to work because I've got 9, I've got 12 there. Okay, well we can get in for the attack, that's the good news. So, let's see what we can pile in there and what can we do to disrupt things before we finish up. 1, 1 and a half, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can go 5 to here and do this overrun. Taking a chance. Okay, it's a minus two though, right? So that's going to be okay. What is the subtraction again, fellas? It's minus two for seven to one. And we're actually at higher than that. We're actually at ten, no, minus two for ten to one. So that makes it a seven, a retreat. Okay, just make it. We'll retreat this guy to here. It's five movement points. Five and a half plus one, six and a half to there. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Yep. One, one, half, one, two and a half, three and a half. Four and a half, five and a half, that won't work. Need a six rated unit, not gonna find it. Uh, we're not gonna get much else in there. This is gonna be a kind of a desperado attack. Two, 
three, four, five. Actually, I don't do that. There's, the, there's the, the rules for movement are a little tricky because you do actually have to pay uh, to exit hexes as well, uh, hexides as well. And so I'm not sure that it's, you're not actually paying to move into hexides, you're paying to move through them. So I guess this is two, and then here, I think it might actually be an extra movement point as well. So we're not gonna do that. We are gonna go one, two, three, four, and stop there. One, one, two, three, four. Well, that's not going to help. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, dear. Crossing a hexide, a, a fortress hexide that has not been destroyed, or fortified hexide, it's going to be plus one. So that's two to there, three, four, five to there. supply rail supply on yet as well uh, okay so that's a really interesting development I did not see that earlier on One, two, three. we might be able to over on this guy here too Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's five to here. Eek. Five to here. Jeez. Okay, all well, the five. I think that's gonna be good enough. I think we got seven to one. I probably should have checked before I did it, but twelve. 15, hmm. 7 to 1, so that's a minus 1 makes it a 4, that's all that's going to be is an overrun retreat 2, I think we want this guy to go back here, so that's 5 to there, 5 and a half, oh you can't see, yes you can, 5 and a half, 6 plus 1, 7, alright, so we're going to get level off this turn, looks like we're good. That is amazing. I did not notice that uh, <clears throat> open lane there. Uh, I probably would not have moved this guy up so far. I would have moved it back to here, which would have slowed things down a little bit. Okay. Been running the gauntlet with uh, attacks uh, this turn, so let's put it this last couple of turns I should say. I'm going to try and crank on this cab unit here and these guys will that's going to be 16 24 to 3. I'm going to have max odds on that guy. 24, actually 26 to 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 and a half. 
five and a half, six and a half. Hmm. So maybe we're better off doing this. But I would have to attack this unit if I did this. Damn. Okay, so we can't do that. Oh, well, you know what? So I won't use that guy. We'll just do this. Let's put this, this, so this dude in here. And we've got the Artie as well, so that's in good shape. All right, so that's a bunch of attacks. We're gonna have trouble with supply this turn, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, we're gonna make it. All right, so I'm gonna rail two into here, two uh, MSU to here. Just before I forget. Now, uh, we're still going to prevent any sort of uh, follow up from the Soviets. But I think if I just moved here, that'll chew up a movement point for them to get out of my zone of control. And these guys can come across too. It's two because it's one to end of this hex. Or is it leaving the hex? You know what? I think I'm stuffing up movement here. Let me just check something real quick. Because it is uh, drawing fix. Do not spend, oh, they do not spend movement points to exit hexes. Well, duh. Each terrain type may affect movement through hex sides or into hex sides. Let me just double check this. Yeah, I don't think I would have over here. I don't think I would have had to pay the plus one movement point there because it was on that track or minor road. Do you know where the road movement? That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something very specific as it pertains to movement business. I thought I saw somewhere, and I just leave and re-enter. No, that sounds control. Terrain effects on movement. Enter or pass through hexes. Some hex contains more than one type. Yada yada yada. Okay. I think we're good. I think I'm doing all right. And if I'm not, fuck it. So I don't think it's going to be a tragic, uh, a tragic error. Right. Do I want to try and attack these guys? They have no negative benef negative to them but they will later on. Let's wait. Okay, let's move the camera up to here somewhere without knocking too much else over. All right, let's see what we can do about taking or enveloping Brody, which has a, now I guess once a strong point is built, everybody gets to be in the strong point because it's a plus one to the die roll. So we put that underneath. Uh, Let's do this. One along the minor road with that dude. And he's gonna go three or two? Two, plus two, so it's three. And one for the exit, four. Nope, he's not gonna make it. Nope. Alright, so he'll stay there for the moment. I'll bring this guy in here and we'll just attack that hex. And what I was trying to do was move these guys. I moved them two to there. Glad I remembered that. 
2 or I could go 2 to here 3 4 4 that's as far as I can get really let's, let's uh, I'd like to get some armor some RT on this attack, so we'll do that. To there. And we need RT on this attack here. One is to pile up, and all these guys can pile in. One, two. Now, one, two. Oh, uh, you know what? Hang on. One, two. I'm going to go this way. One, up to here. I have a plan. One, two, three. All right. So, one better be keeping track of what's moved. Whoops. Please shout out if you see something tragically wrong here. Well, <laughs> more wrong than usual. Camera keeps sliding. Okay, uh, I don't need to attack this way. And I don't necessarily want to attack this way. I think this hex here looks sexy. And I'm going to cross a minor river. That's going to add one to the dialogue, I believe. Let me double check that. If we did an overrun. Plus two to the dialogue. Let's do it. Is that a river or a stream, though? River. Okay, this hex, I think, has 15 in it. Eight. Nine. 12, 15, 15, yep, that's going to be 5 to 1, just enough, 5 to 1, plus 2, let's do the, the, the movement math, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, and that's uh, plus 2 on the die roll, I'm taking a chance here, and I roll a 3, whoops, plus 2 is a 5, is there, do we have to add anything else? So that will be a five, which will be a retreat. Two hexes. One, two. That's, I said there was four movement points. Five to there. Okay, we're across. That's good. Five, six, seven to there. And now we'll bring this dude up to here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five to here. Secure that. We'll bring these dudes across. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to bring this artillery up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to use it this turn. I won't need it. Kind of look at the stuff off screen here. Bear with me. One, two, three, four, four and a half to there. These guys will move to here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Some of these guys back to here. All 
All right. Um, ooh, that's a little exposed. Let's uh, pull this guy back. There we go. All right. Now, supply. I need to get trucks up here. Seven hexes away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be one hex away. Are you shooting me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that makes it. This will go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. That's near enough. Now rail in to the extremity of the rail line. And I think that's here. Okay, so. Let's declare some attacks. I hope someone's going to tell me if I'm making anything. Any that, I'm not going to do that attack there. I will do that attack there. Any horrible, horrible, massive errors? I'm sure I am, but that's okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. So they're the declared attacks. Now, Soviet reaction phase, we get to designate artillery for the uh, defending hexes and we get to uh, do the motorized reaction movement. And motorized reaction movement is for the Soviets half their movement rate for motorized units. They all get to move. Uh, and they can overrun, but they can't attack. Now I've got a headquarters in here. Now I can, now that it's not interdicted, I believe I can, this is where I can use one of these no retreat doohickeys, I think. Something like that. It's gonna add plus one to the die roll. I'm sorry, yeah, we're over here now. Right here. I think that's how that works, because there's an HQ in that hex, uh, or, or within range. Um, these guys really can't help it at all. This motorized unit, oh, he's supposed to get an overrun marker, right? We forgot to do that. You guys aren't uh, paying attention here, are you? No one's watching what the hell's going on. Overrun. There's another overrun somewhere else as well, up here. That guy gets an overrun marker. And I just bounced my uh, division down here. And it's hex. So we'll put them all in the same hex. And we'll just combine them. Hang on. Bear with me. Ninth Panzer. Thirteenth Panzer. There we go. There's the weaker of the two that was there, I think. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, JTM, what do you, uh, what do you, uh, uh, um, I'm wanting about. All right, let's see. Now, mech. Mech move, mech move. Reaction. What could I do here that is gonna mitigate in this reaction phase? I'm 
think I can get into that hex to help out, and I can't go adjacent unless there's another unit there. So we're really kind of up a shit creek here. I could possibly, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Hang on, bear with me guys. Let's see if we can't uh, pull a rabbit out of the hat for the, uh, the good guys, the bad guys, whatever the guys are that are Soviets. Reaction, they can. I wrote it down here. Three hexes, 50% movement rate, no NKVD. Does not begin in an enemy's arc. Okay, so that was smart moving this here, so the reaction move is going to limit these guys. the adjacent hex. Yeah. Yeah, you can't move into the... into the hex being attacked. I can allocate artillery, and I think the artillery is in the hex anyway. All right, here we go. What have we got in here? Well, there's no arty there anyway. All right. <clears throat> At least I can issue the no retreat order. These guys, these guys are all in zones of control. This guy can move, but he has an overrun marker on him, if you recall. We bounce that dude. Well, maybe we didn't. Maybe that's a different guy. No, I think we did. Okay. Hmm. All right. I don't see much else I can move or do here. I can move this guy to here. All right, so access combat phase. I believe that's where we're at. Now let's resolve this attack first since it's one of the larger ones and more interesting. And let's just see, I'm not probably not gonna, before we do that, let me see if I have attack supply issues. I am going to have attack supply issues because this guy this guy is coming from this angle and he's going to have to go seven hexes back to a, either an MSU or a road that leads to a rail line and we might be shit out of luck here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, so while this is a declared attack, it's not going to get the, the uh, it's not going to get any bonuses really because of that uh, this attack coming from this angle and being uh, placing these guys basically out of attack supply. Uh, even if these guys were able to be in attack supply, which they could, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, they'd be short, but this guy could make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but he's the only one that can. Everyone, I believe, has to be able to get back to some level of attack supply. So maybe if I had to move this truck down here, uh, that might have helped. One, just one and a half, one, two, yeah. Probably wouldn't have been far enough. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, we've been really close. But nevertheless, this chap here would still would have been out of attack supply as well. So let's uh, let's do the odds on this guy. We got one, three, four. We're actually in a city here, big pink city. And we have a no retreat marker. So I'm just gonna make a note here that's four. And let's do some quick math here. Hopefully it'll be quick. That's 12, 15, 18. That's uh, 18 is uh, 25. And uh, 25, 31, 37 to four. This is 37, let's make a note there. And this is for Lavov. Uh, it's going to be uh, four. It's going to be eight to one. Four eight to thirty-two. It's going to be actually nine to one. Nine to one attack here. Okay. I'm just going to. I like to do this and then resolve them all. It's not necessarily how you're supposed to do it. We're going to have a plus three on this attack, though, because it's one for the plus for the retreat and uh, two for being out of uh, out of um, out of uh, attack supply. And I guess I need to see what effect the terrain has for the city. Let's check that real quick. It's right here. Before we go getting too carried away, I nearly forgot. City is plus one DRM, and all attacking armor is halved. That's excellent. Shit. Okay, so that I said I was 37 and this is 7. So I had 30 factors. It's now 15 factors plus 7 is 22 to 4. That's 5 to 1. And it's going to be a plus 4. That's a little bit different, isn't it? 5 to 1 plus 4. If you could read that, good luck. 5 to 1 plus 4. Well, Let's resolve this one. Let's see what happens. This is where you want to roll that number. You want to roll that one. That makes it a five on the five to one, right? 15 plus seven is 22, yeah. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the combat results table. Uh, just the way it's laid out is kind of awkward. Uh, where are we? So what did I say? Uh, plus four, so it's a five. Okay, that's expensive. So it's a one asterisk and two step losses for the uh, Soviets. The Russians are gonna, the uh, Soviets, the uh, Germans are gonna lose one and must lose one extra step if uh, it attacks without supply, attack supply. Yeah, okay, so that's gonna be two step losses for two step losses. Well, that's a beat down. Okay. We'll take uh, that guy out. Well, actually, he's not an armored unit, so. Well, that's the one, that's one step I need to lose. Actually, I can lose one step from the infantry. That's one that we'll take. That's an easy one there. And then we'll take a armored unit, which will be that recon guy, which you can't see off screen. I'll show you in a second. This guy, these goes to the dead pile. And now these guys have to lose two steps. But with the no retreat, does that mean you take an extra step loss? We didn't get a retreat result, so I don't think you do. That's going to be this guy. That's going to be two step losses there. That guy goes off. This little guy has uh, two steps. We're going to put a step loss on him. And the HQ stays. And let me check what else happens to City Terrain. Anything else? Um, 
Does that count as a major city? Because if it does, I think that's actually going to make that a six. That is a major city, so that makes the result a six. So let's just check that. Attacking hours still half, so five to one, a six. Ah, so look, that's actually a better result in, in some ways. Six, uh, five to one, we rolled a six, where is it? It's a one, it's a, just a one step loss on them. We don't kill as many, but I don't lose dudes, which is awesome. So this guy comes back and I'll just bring this dude back and we'll put the step loss on that other guy, like so. Oops. And the status quo is such. That looks right. Ah, yes, damn good point. No, you don't get Panzer Integrity for um, no cab for uh, major cities. Uh, so that would have been a plus three. Good catch. Oh, so I, what did I roll? I rolled a one, so it's going to make it a four. Ooh, so that's an even better result. Okay, that's a two R now. Oh, we're all over the place tonight. Two R. Okay, no retreat. Well, this is going to wipe these guys out. 2R, because, let's see. We said we were gonna take one, so there's one, step loss. Then we, we lose another one, and then we're gonna retreat, but I've got the no retreat marker. Now, doesn't the no retreat marker mean that we don't retreat and we take a step loss instead? I've never been able to use them yet. Uh, because of the headquarters being interdicted. So let's see what it says. Unless someone wants to tell me real quickly. Now I can't believe I'm using you guys as like online support. Real-time streaming rules support. Let's see if we can find it here. There was an index here somewhere. Okay, so, but we just got to check on this no retreat, this uh, no retreat, I'm pretty sure you take a, here we go, retreat orders. Uh, place the chosen order face down on the defendant, hey, oh, okay, reveal at the moment of combat, okay. There's no restriction on, no, blah, 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 Quite an HQ, we did that. Must be, unless negated by the not up HQ or KBD. Automatically converse, no retreat orders, did not know that. That is a good tip. What does it do though, dudes? Maybe you don't. Um... Maybe you don't take an extra step loss. It does take a step loss. Yes, there it is. Geniuses, you guys are awesome. Okay, so that means we won this battle. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Even I'm impressed. All right. Now let me just make sure I don't lose anything for that attack. I don't believe I do. It was a straight up 2R. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so, sweet. So I wonder if it would have been, well, I would have had to retreat out and I couldn't retreat and I would have died anyway, so I don't see the point of that, but it gets a plus one on the die roll. But we were at plus, we had uh, maximum uh, ships anyway because we're out of supplies. So that's that attack done. Whew, that was painful. Uh, sorry that took so long. Now, where were we? Let's do this guy down here. Let's do something simple. And we'll try not to screw it up. Uh, four factors. I've got 12, 18. That's going to be uh, 4 to 1 there. We're in the marshy stuff. Nothing happens for that. I get the cab because I've got the 13th pan all of 13th Panzer here. So that's going to be a minus one on the die roll. And, and, oh, you know what uh, you were saying earlier on, buddy, about the uh, cab bonus? I was uh, misconstruing that with the divisional integrity bonus. You're right. It probably was a, a cab bonus there. 
but I think the net would have been a, 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 a plus three on that, uh, or a plus two on that uh, effect anyway. So I think we'll just leave it as it is now because we changed it 15 times. Um, but so I'm gonna get to no cab bonus here because both sides have uh, armor. Can you see where we're here? Well, yep, okay. Uh, both sides have armor, so there's no cab bonus. And I rolled a six on a, what did I say it was? Five to one or something, four to one? I can't remember, 24, six, 12, 18. Four to one. And I rolled a six. Four to one with a six. Wow, really? Attacker loses two? It's these results are bizarre. I thought OCS had a bizarre results table. This is foobard. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to, the armor attrition rule is gonna kick in there and I'm gonna have to take a loss. I guess an armor loss, so that guy's gonna get reduced. This dude's gonna take a step loss. That doesn't seem right to me. And this guy takes a step loss. Nah, that's a bullshit attack. This is why you don't just do random attacks. I could have left that guy alone and just block the supply there, and that would have been just fine and dandy. But no. Same goes with this attack here. I've got uh, five there. And uh, a bunch here. Let's see, three. That's 7, 10, 18 there, 20, 20, 26 to 5, that's 5 to 1 with a minus 1 for the engineer, and we get the uh, uh, minus 1 for the engineer, we're going to get the armor, so that's minus 2. If I put another three factors in here, what did I say that was five to one? I said it was 26, three more factors is gonna make it 29, that's not gonna help. So, five to one with a minus two. Oh, rough, four hills. That's gonna be a plus one, so that's gonna be a minus one net. I roll a six, minus one is a five on the five to one. And here it is again, one asterisk, two. Okay, so we killed two steps. So let's lose this artillery. And let's put a step on this guy. Where's all the loss markers going? Huh, I have a whole bunch of them here. I can't believe I've got to take two step losses here. One. Mm. Shoot. I guess I have to lose that one. Okay. Now this guy gets a step loss. We need a step loss marker. All right. I'm just going to turn this upside down. And I'll find one later. And that guy's got a step loss on him. Uh, okay, declared attack over here now. I'm trying to not knock the table too badly. Yeah, thanks, Chris. All right, uh, thanks for joining. Okay. Uh, yeah, the random attacks thing is really a pain in the ass, though. All right. Um, what have I got here? 16 to 3. Oh, with the river. Let's see. River's going to have plus 1, I think. No cab. That's going to be 5 to 1. So that's a 5 to 1 result. Here with a plus one, I believe, for the river. Ugh, I roll a ten. Shoot. I'm gonna say five to one with a ten plus one. 
no effect. I mean, that ought to be a bad result, but it's not. Okay, next, this guy here, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's right, I was gonna use this artillery, wasn't I? Too bad, 15. Sorry, five and three is eight, 16, 20, 22 to three. That's uh, seven to one. I rolled it. I rolled a nine. I'm gonna get one for the engineer, that makes it an eight. Eight. What did I say it was? Seven to one? It's a 1-1. One, one. Okay, that guy takes a step loss. And we take a step loss. I think I've got to lose one from the engineer if he's involved. Okay. That hurts. Another attack that hurts. Okay. Here we go. Surely I can win this, this one, right? Where are we? Sorry, guys camera is uh, the phone kind of weighs down on the uh, on the stand we're here defensive one I've got 12 that's max odds I rolled an eight we're gonna get uh, armored cars don't have any effects it's gonna be two steps either no matter what actually it's gonna die so that comes off. Advancing the X. Uh, this attack here. I think I said I had 15, didn't I? 5, 6, 14. Plus 2 is 16. Uh, divisional bonus is going to be a minus 1. Uh, I'm going to bring another 3. Oh, that does not in range. Uh, so I've got a minus one so far, that's all I've got. Minus two for the engineers. That's a one. So that'll be a great result. What did I say the odds were? Shit. 16 to three. Is that what it was? It was 14 plus two is 16. Okay. A minus two. I think we're going to be good. Zero. Four. Four more retreat. So this guy dies. And we'll just pop into here. Okay. I think that's all the attacks we were doing. So a couple little, uh, couple little food bars here and there with uh, that city attack, that major city attack. That's the first time we've done. One of those. Let me just straighten up the camera a little bit here. I've got it on wonky legs. Come on, dude. Get with the program. So, what would happen now uh, to continue would be uh, the Axis motorized phase, and we will uh, we can actually do that if you guys are interested in hanging around. I'm going to take a quick uh, happy snap of Lavov. Falling. And this guy up here, his attack. And this freaking disaster down here. All right. Who's up for motorized? If you guys are up, I'm up. Oh, I didn't spend supply. Let's do that. We had two attacks here that were both in range, so we pull that guy off. We have to pull this one off here for that guy. And we didn't do another attack up here. Actually, you know what would be better? Uh, is this guy can make it. And where else did I? I did an attack here. One, two, they're not going to be able to make it. So this should have been a plus two. 
because we didn't do the attack supply adjustment. Shoot. I will just say that we were in supply and make that a one and just deal with it uh, because we screwed up there. It, we, we left it in a static state anyway. So it's not like we got some massive benefit there. Uh, these guys were in supply, so there, there we go, that's okay. It could, that could have been worse. All right. Um, my bad, it's kind of hard to do this on the fly. All right, let's see. Mechanized move. Overrun is the only type of combat we can conduct. Can't attack that hex. But I can encircle Brody all the way up here. Let's see. Let's first before we get into that, let's let's sort out this Laval business here because we, we have the opportunity to encircle all this here. And I think we need to get that right. to do that. Let's do this then. This here we've got to close off. So one, two, three to there. This guy's going to trace through through this area here. Oh no, I've got a zone of control. Okay, that would be a viable hex to get through, and I can't get there. Yes, I can. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, four. That'll do it. You guys see that okay? There you go. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two. Two. I think that's it, right? That should just about do it. I think. Two, two there. Okay. So that's the encirclement of the, of the Lvov area. And that's now gonna allow us, this, this area here, by capturing this, this transportation hub, now we can uh, focus on pushing rail through here, uh, and then along this way, or this way, to uh, move on towards Kiev. So that's a big win uh, 
for for the access. I don't think it would have happened. Uh, you know, realistically, we would have had this unit here if we had been smart. We would have just left this guy here or put it here. I forget where it was coming from, but basically, that's uh, that would have prevented all of that from happening, pretty much, um, or made it a, a much riskier attack. Uh, so who knows? With all the messing around we did, I think we we earned it. We earned that one. Now up here in the north, uh, we've got a. Oops, sorry for the camera shake. We've got to deal with. I'll come back to comments in just a sec. We've got to deal with uh, some residual stuff here. One, two, three. We're getting way ahead of our su supply lines now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really at the edge of them, which means. We need to attack. Let's attack this hex here. Let's try and do an overrun. What did I say? This was 14, I think. 5. And 5 is 10. Yeah. No, it's 10. Okay. How did I get 14 before? Did I lose the step? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go. 14. Okay. 14 to 3. 4 to 1. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Shit. I can't get there anyway. Don't worry about it. We'll just move adjacent. And these guys will stay here to block this little pile of nasty. That's, I think that's it in terms of mech move. That's all we're going to do right now. Oh boy, I'm getting a stiff neck from looking at this. So here's what will happen next. Uh, we would do the engineering phase and move the rail bits and pieces. And we would uh, build any strong points if we were going to build them. And then the Soviets would have their Soviet motorized movement phase, which would mean all their motorized units would have full movement, and uh, then uh, the Axis reaction phase, Soviet combat, Soviet movement, which is everybody gets to move, again, motorized stuff gets to move half. Um, and we got to do strategic movement and stuff like that. Then engineering. Then that'll be the end of the tape, the uh, the thing. Uh, you know, Clay, uh, you're asking me if I like the system. It's just a little bit different. Uh, it's got a lot of exceptions laden through it, and there's a lot of little bits and pieces to remember. As you've just seen me, uh, you know, trying to do this live too is a bit of a challenge. But uh, uh, you know, made a mistake here with the, the plus two for being no tack attack supply that could have made a difference here maybe this guy wouldn't have lost a step uh so you know uh, do i like it i think i do uh i don't know that i love it yet but we're only four turns into it so it's hard to say it's hard to say i'm gonna put this here i would need to play it quite a bit more until it became kind of second nature uh, the reason why i was feeling confident that I would do a live stream with you guys tonight was that turn three went really, really well, but, you know, we didn't have this, no, you know, the, uh, all the HQs for the Soviets were interdicted pretty much. So that meant that we didn't have uh, to deal with the no retreat issues and we weren't dealing with some of this new terrain that we haven't used before and uh, the, the lines of communication were a little smoother and a little cleaner. So hey Ken, nice to see you here. Um, all right, so I think what I'll do is I'll stop here. We're gonna try and rescue what we can of the Soviet defense defensive line here. It, it it's it's deceptive with this game how how much damage can be wrought by uh, these roving Panzer formations and motorized formations, you know, especially if you do a little engineering with them and bring an infantry unit along to kind of boost boost up the odds. They can really be pretty powerful, although this was very, very lucky. You also saw the downside of uh, doing even five to one attacks 
uh, over here, it got very expensive for the Germans. The Germans lost a lot of units this turn. I'm not happy about that. There's three steps at least that I can see, uh, plus infantry. Uh, that's a huge amount of armor to lose, and we're only at Lvov. We have, we have, you know, this whole map all the way, all the way back to that pile of stuff over there. That's Kiev over there. Uh, let me just focus in for you. That's Kiev. You know, so we've got a full width of the map to go yet, and a lot of reinforcements to come. And we already have fairly high attrition. All right, gonna let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out with me. You guys are awesome. And thanks for the rules tips and for the assistance. Clearly, I needed it. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon.